All right, so I am going to pre-apologize today. But I'm going to try to do some filming today. And welcome to Rhino Joe Outdoors. But I forgot my chesty rig in my boat. So I just got out here. This is my second cast. Don't want to get that first cast and catch one and get the curse. But I caught one here. Uh, just a little uh, Bobby Garland baby shad. And let's see what we can do today. All right, so I'm going to get this one. Put in my fish basket here. Try not to get tangled up and everything. That one's right on the bottom, just like they should be. Let's get back out here and do it again. So just got this little, my good old classic monkey milk, Bobby Garland baby shad, eight ounce chick head. What's up? Man's busy down here. I know. I've you're never seen. Huh? You haven't been here long, have you? No, I just, I mean, like, I probably made three casts. I thought that was you I passed up there. You were getting out of your car. Yeah. All right, there's number two. Number two. I'm donating a lot of lures today. <laughs> yeah. Have any luck? Just two. It's very sporadic. Yep. But I've seen them. I, I've seen yeah, like see of them running up through here. Yeah. All right. So we caught number three. We moved a little bit. Um, found a little spot here. I think that's going to be good. When I caught this one here, I pulled up a bunch with it. So I think there's a little pot of them right here. We're going to try to catch them. I don't know if it's going to come out in the video or not, but there's some gar here, right there. Oh, you can probably see it on the camera. But the cool thing about fishing today is like what I've seen with these white bass is I've kind of been over in this little bit of a calmer area and I've seen pods of you know five six seven white bass just swim right up through here so the run is definitely on and uh, they are running up to go spawn but it's really cool here just because I can really see in the water here you can see that gar there look how cool but yeah like in that little spot where that gar is every once in a while i'll see a pod of white bass just swimming on upstream it's been one of those days where every single time i turn the camera on i do not catch anything um, and it's a little bit more difficult just because today i did forget my chesty harness with my little action camera on it and it makes a lot easier because I don't know how much you know about those, but you can set it to loop where it just keeps recording. And then whenever you end the recording, it records the previous five minutes. But with this, I just have to start it and just let it go and make ridiculously long videos. And it has been kind of sporadic today, but I just kind of want to show you all this spot here where I've actually caught quite a few and explain why I think it's a good little spot. If you look here, you can see out here you got the current coming in out there and then down here in the bottom you've got a little bit of a calmer area and these white bass as they come up this riffle and they come into here they can sit in this little spot here and kind of rest a little bit before they venture on their way upstream so that makes this a good little spot here for the white bass to pull up kind of rest for a minute and then keep going so they'll kind of congregate in here and i caught about five out of this little hole here and it seems like sometimes like especially today i'm having to catch a few let the fish rest a little bit catch a few let the fish rest a little bit um, but ultimately i've had a good day out here it's um, i've heard from quite a few people out here that it's been a slower day um, i guess it's really been on and uh, this is not the salt river but 
I'm not really going to say where it's at, but I'm sure there's a couple people will figure it out. Um, but, um, you know, had a lot of fun out here. Caught, um, I think I've got like 10 fish now and that's good enough for me. I might make a couple more casts and just see what I can do, but probably a good enough day for me. I'm going to go down here. Brian's down here and, uh, he's one of the subscribers that I've met through the past doing this YouTube channel. And I'm going to go show him this spot here, um, before I leave and see if he doesn't want to come up here and try it out um, and try to catch some few fish for himself but as always guys i appreciate you watching once again i'm sorry i forgot my chesty harness um, but if you're looking to go white bass fishing uh, check out this video here um, where i go over some of my favorite white bass lures and then uh, if you're interested in going to the salt river and fishing for white bass here are the directions to the salt river and i will see you guys in the next one